Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand, I am going to talk about the different colleges and different tiers. And it's my personal opinion. I, I will also give you know details about why I am saying that uh, particular thing because of placement, because of the global rankings or because of visibility of the college and tough admission process or anything. So no doubt all the IITs are tier 1 colleges and it's through JOSAT only 23 IITs are there in India and no 17,385 seats right so they always qualify for the tier 1 and it's a colleges of government importance so even all the NITs and all the triple ITs are college of national importance government of India and they will qualify for the tier 1 colleges though some of the lower end triple ITs may not be doing good or triple IT or NITs may not be that good but these are highly competitive and the best in class students get selected and you will see my college I have passed out from NIT Raipur so it is one of those now to start with the tier 2 colleges so I have said in the colleges which have the median salary of more than 10 lakhs to 20 lakhs and the colleges which have a very high visibility in terms of global ranking or the world ranking the colleges which are the top notch college with respect to the median salary as well as uh, highly competitive colleges to get into those colleges really tough right so those colleges uh, are tier 2 colleges so no doubt bits pelani almost like a tier 1 college has got the median salary of 18 lakhs and they place close to 3000 students at the median salary of 18 lakhs 3000 students at the salary of 18 lakhs and bits pelani main campus may have median salary even more than 25 lakhs bits goa bits hyderabad are also equivalent and quite good option with will have median salary always minimum 13 to 14 lakhs at least so all those three are there they have a global ranking of 900 to 950 Similarly, DTU, right, 13 lakhs median salary or NSUT, which is 16 lakhs median salary. They are placing 800 to 900 plus students with such a high salary and the, their J means cutoffs are also very high. And get into these colleges is a great respect thing. Similarly, Durubai Ambani College of Information Technology, right, 99 percentile is the cutoff, 16.5 lakhs is the median salary and you know similarly IGDTU which is the women's only college number one college in India median salary of IGDTU is 18 lakhs and they are placing around eight to nine hundred new women similarly Defense Institute of Advanced Technology in Pune has the median salary of 19.5 lakhs top-notch engineers works there Jadavpur University College of very high visibility and globally recognized right in world rankings same tier 2 colleges i am also putting velour institute technology i am talking about only the main campus so total 4500 students get placed through vit velour and out of those 4500 at least 3000 students gets placed through vit velour right so main campus 3000 students get placed with the median salary of at least 10 lakhs and above Overall college median salary is 8 lakhs but VIT well lower standalone median salary will be more than 10 lakhs and that is the VIT brand it's a global ranking will be 850 to 900 right. Similarly Thapar University in Patiala right they also place around close to 3000 st students right with a median salary of 10 lakhs global ranking between 1000 to 1200 GGSIP, LNMIT all those are big brands right in terms of uh, you know getting there like 96 97 percentile plus you know they are all good deemed university and they're placing around 500 to 700 minimum students at that salaries Pek Chandigarh which is a GFTI government funded technical university deemed university and again 10 lakhs median salary Bits Mesra right one of the very recognized institution it's also a GFTI government funded technical institute median salary is just 9.99 9.9 lakhs and i'm considering it as a tier 2 college and it's a very highly competitor it has got two three off campuses and uh, it's an excellent option again so tier 2 college indian institute of space technology in tiruvanthapuram 10.6 deemed university or institute of national importance and similar to rgipt in you know up right which is also a national institute and 10 lakh median salary government college 
now moving to tier 3 colleges right so if you start right these are the state level colleges these are deemed universities but you know if you see some of them have the salary even more than 10 lakhs right but you know visibility is quite low like sardar patel institute of technology in mumbai it's a very recognized college in maharashtra right but median salary is almost like 12 lakhs but the recognition is low at the national level state and there is no world level ranking similar is the coep which is very excellent college 9.7 lakhs median salary again you know it is it takes admission through state level exam mst cet vjti mumbai very recognized college 9.3 lakh, lakhs median salary all of this maharashtra college right you can see median salaries are more than 9 to 10 11 lakhs but they all take admission through mst cet exam right and visibility is only at the state level not at the national or the global level right similar colleges in bangalore are like rb college of engineering 8.5 lakh is the nrf pdf data which has published in the nirf website right and excellent college number one college in karnataka right bms college of engineering 8.24 all of these are very excellent options in terms of state level colleges but they don't have any global recognition in terms of world ranking or they don't take admissions you know in the global exam like like j mains or others right q means Pune, right, which is the women's only college, 8 lakh median salary, again state level. Manipal Institute of Technology, a very recognized deemed university, got a global ranking of 800 to 1000. But the median salary is only 8 lakhs and the number of percentage placement in Manipal Men's uh, Institute is quite low, right. Only 1100 students get placed out of 1800 students study there. The number of students who appear for MIT and uh, no, entrance exam is 1 lakh compared to number of students who have to appear for VIT Vellore which is around 2 lakhs and that's the reason you know there's a difference between tier of VIT main branch versus MIT main branch ICT in Mumbai, uh, Mumbai again a very recognized college 8 lakh median salary and the global ranking also between 800 to 1000 rank moving in the list of tier 3 colleges you know you see ps university 7.5 lakh median salary it's a state private university jss university is a deemed university and its global ranking is also quite good median salary around 7.2 lakhs banasthani university which is world's biggest women only university deemed university 7.5 lakh median salary and the global ranking is between 1000 to 1500 lpu punjab right all of those JP Noida are the those are the best colleges in their states, right? And they have the global rankings. SS in Chennai, the best college in Tamil Nadu, or SGITS Indore, which is the best college in Madhya Pradesh, right? But it is a state level college. No other people outside Madhya Pradesh will know about SJ SGSITS, right? Similarly, JCBS University, Haryana State University, Chandigarh University, all those Ch Chanda Chandigarh Chitkara are the private universities. They do have a lot of number of students. They are a private universities and they show different inflated data, right? So those also belongs to the tier three category of colleges. Jamia Millia Islamia, right? Which is a government university, 7.5 lakh median is uh, also one of the tier three college. If you continue here, you know, these are again top-notch institutes in different states like Bharti Vidya Pit, MIT, WPU, those are deemed universities based out of Maharashtra. Nirma University is the number one college in Ahmedabad, which is in Gujarat, number one college deemed university. Mahindra University, the, again private university in Andhra Pradesh or Sastra University in Tamil Nadu, which has got 1200 to 1500 in a world rankings. HBTU, Uttar Uth Pradesh, right? a deemed university and the rest of the vit well lower campuses right which is bhopal campus or you know andhra, andhra pradesh campus etc are nothing but a state university and their median salary will be six lakhs so rest of the vit campus i have put in the tier three college but vit well lower main campus is a tier two college srm right they place good number of students, 3,000, 4,000 students, but the median salaries are quite low, 5 lakhs. 
they have the international recognition like 1200 to 1500 ranking similar is the geetam university narsi monji amrita universities their median salaries are like 6 lakhs and below but they have the international recognitions lot number of peoples and students can give their uh, entrances but it is easier to get admission into this college like comparative to VIT well or main campus so that's why they are in the tier 3 category and similar tier 3 categories like Manipal University, Kalinga, you know, Koneru Lakshmaya, Anna University, Grafikera, all of them are the deemed universities and all of these have the national rankings but their median salaries are quite you know between 6, 6.5 that range and it is very easier to get into this college your dream branch right because admission and the number of seats are very high so it's again still a tier 3 college. A similar option in Karnataka is Nite University Karkala which is also a deemed university 6.5 lakh and then there are very good state level colleges like NI Mysore which has got the good number of good packages like 7.6 or UVC 7 KLE 7 and but the only problem is that lot of them don't have a good recognition at the national level or the world rank world ranking levels right but they are the deemed university and they are the best you know state level college ms ramaya institute of technology sid ganga new horizon college of engineering and all of them belong to the tier 3 category of colleges going further you will see some more good colleges from karnataka which are belonging to tier 3 category T Minakshi, bmsit cmrit but all of them are the state level colleges they don't have indian national level recognition similarly jan university christ university are deemed university but getting admission is quite simpler compared to other you know top notch tier 2 colleges right and other colleges like ps, PS mandya BIT Bangalore, SDM College, Gok, and SIT, BNMIT, MVIT, VVC are all sub 6 lakhs median salary. Their median salaries are like this 6 lakhs, but I have put there it will belong to 3 and you know, tier 3 category colleges. And students can definitely take them as well depending on what branch and, and what other options do they have right in terms of KCT and Comet K. So that's our overall update on all the colleges which I can think. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates. Take care and bye.